Hi, Patricia here with Raising a Self-Reliant Child. Today I'm going to share with you my review of the new American Cursive Penmanship Workbook 1 from Memoria Press. I received this workbook free of charge in exchange for my complete and honest review as part of the Schoolhouse Review Crew. First thing, here is Superhero unwrapping the package when it arrived in the mail mm. and his first impression. That's Memory press? Mm -hmm. Memory press. Hmm. Hey, what is it? Let me see. No American cursive. Wow, look at it. It looks real nice. Can you open it up? Okay, so flip it. No American cursive. I think this will be a good book to review. Why do you think so? It looks fun. Yeah, what, what makes it look fun for you? Um, when I looked inside of the book, it looks like it could be good, it could be fun. Okay, thank you. Okay. Wow, look how pretty your bees are. See how good you get with each new letter you make? It's getting better and better. No, you don't need to go. Oh yeah, I guess. You're not supposed Down to lift and curse. the lift. There. Yay! Perfect. Mm -mm. Now mm -mm. trace your best, or I mean, circle your best. I don't know. This bee looks good. So does this one. Well, then trace two. Or pick. Maybe you'll need to pick one. Mm hmm. What do you think? I think with this one, it's prettier. Is ah. Are you recording? Yes. Oh. Um. Oh, look at that pretty bee. Yeah. Okay, now where's the little bee? The little bee. I've put a the Okay, this little bee. Okay, dale, go. Oh. Se te cago. Dale. There we go. Yay! Oh, there's the little bee. Look how nice. Okay. Are you happy with your bee? Yeah. Are you happy bee. with that cursive? Yeah. As you can see, this is a top spiral bound workbook and it's friendly therefore for both right and left handed children. The actual instruction is divided into three sections or, or a sequence of three steps. First is the instruction page, then comes the practice page. And lastly, it's the fun exercises and artwork, which is, which is supposed to be the play section. On the instruction page, the letters are fairly big in size. Indeed, that would be quite suitable for the young kids, this, as this is supposed to be for gear for children in grades first grade and up. There is a cute cartoon or character named Mr. Meerkat that is uh, the writing buddy and it appears throughout workbook one. The child is supposed to say the letter then to feel the letter so he is to trace with his finger the letter and it's a big letter that appears on the instruction page as well. And third, after he said it and felt it, he's to actually write it. There is a big lowercase letter and a big uppercase letter that completes the instruction. Then I've seen this L somewhere the child moves on to the practice page. That's my phone. Here 
That's okay. Just he gets to yeah. trace and write the letters in lowercase. There are two lines for that. And the same again for uppercase. There are two lines for that as well. Some relevant words appear here. And sometimes it's just going to be letters. Sometimes there are short words. Afterwards, Mr. Meerkat will ask the child to circle his best lower and uppercase letters. This was actually quite fun to do for superhero. He, uh, he always kind of contemplated and observed his letters and tried to come up with the best one. So I thought that was a really nice and neat thing, even though it may s appear small, a small thing, but I think the fact that he can actually see and, and try to decide what's best encourage him to continue to, to do and trace his letters quite carefully and neatly. And lastly, the fun and exercise is an artwork page. This is where the child would trace and write the letter without any visual cues. And sometimes there were some words that, short words that would sort of blend everything that's been covered so far. And then he needed to do an artwork, anything that he wanted to draw that he thought might be relevant. So that's pretty much the instruction. Uh, it's, it's fairly short. Uh, it wouldn't take Superhero any more than 10 minutes to complete. So he was always, he's always been willing to do, and he, in fact, he's always trying to pick that first mm -hmm. to do, just yeah. because it's short and easy and fun. He's really liking his handwriting, and I think it's really quite neat as well. I think the, the writing looks very pretty, and it's even inspired me to try to do m some of my letters a little nicer looking as well. So uh, I it's think that that was that was really nice too. That it was just not for I kids in that sense. Right. So you, we could always spruce up our own handwriting if we wanted to. So our final thoughts: Superhero thought it was fun, short, easy, and I liked the writing they showed. Those are his own very own words. It's a very succinct opinion, and it just really encapsulates what he's been thinking. So definitely, his, this has been a, a winner for us. It's a keeper, and we've enjoyed it quite well. Like I said, him, a nine-year-old superhero, as well as myself. As far as continuing on, they do have a workbook two and three to continue to practice and perf perfect the handwriting. Uh, how and they also have a software. I haven't decided yet which one to use. Uh, just so that you know, Memoria Press is a Christian company. So they do offer a workbook too. They have a Christian, meaning Bible passages appear in the in the practice pages. And they do have a secular, completely secular workbook for two. However, I couldn't find the secular version for workbook three in their website. I'm sure they will have an option, but I didn't see it yet. Although they do mention that they have a secular version. So I just wanted to let you know, because I know uh, most of, of you that follow me follow a secular curriculum. So I'm thinking that perhaps StatWrite, which is their software, would uh, you know allow you to, to enter all sorts of, of um, writings or content that would be your own and uh, would therefore be secular if you wanted to. So in the meantime, until we decide what to do, we plan to continue working with Workbook 1 and and enjoy that and uh, superhero has really enjoyed it quite well and the one thing he he did say was that he wanted to finish learning all the cursive letters before he actually starts to write in cursive so far as he hasn't written 
in cursive. He still continues to print, but I have seen that his printing is, is getting even nicer and nicer uh, with this handwriting practice, of course. So it's really been a benefit for, for him all the way. So that completes our uh, that completes my my review. It this has been a really pleasant book to follow. I really do recommend it if you're looking for handwriting material. It's I easy, it's open and go, kid approved and it's fun and it the workbook is quality and and it's a consistent method that will really get the kids going. So Thank you for watching my review. I hope this was useful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I intend to continue to bring resources to make our homeschooling more fun and more enriching. Thank you for watching and see you next time.